Well, congratulations to all. We're looking at a day that started out with some showers, but as we've gotten into the afternoon, bright sunshine and now past sunset, uh, we have basically clear conditions. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite and the last of those showers you can see moving into the hills of West Virginia and the cloud cover breaking as well. We are in a uh, dry slot, so to speak, here as we get into the evening. So our forecast suggests uh, about 50 degrees most recently, uh, relative humidity 71%. The winds are calm and the pressure is about 30.03 inches and rising. For some reason, uh, the most recent hourly update did not take that automatically, but I know that it's 30.03. Taking a look at the current temperatures around the area, 58 down in Charleston and Beckley, 53 at Columbus, 50 for Parkersburg and already 47 for Athens and up in Wheeling and Youngstown. When we look for winds, it's calm in the mid Ohio Valley. Uh, generally, the breezes have been from the northwest, maybe 8 to 12 miles per hour, and we're a good 20 to 24 degrees colder than we were compared to last night at this same time. So uh, again, it's been a, a real up and down roller coaster as we've gone through this week. Most recent radar echoes were clear at this point. When we zoom out, the next round of showers looks like it's down in the lower Mississippi River Valley, trying to work its way into the Ohio Valley. As we take a look at the big picture, the cold front has already come through. It's wrapping around that low pressure system that's moved on. As a result, we have that northwest flow that's been in place. And as we put Futurecast into motion, we'll see how the breaks in the clouds fill in by 930. It looks like we'll be cloudy tonight. And then just as we get to about 3 a.m., there's a finger or two, a lobe of uh, showers trying to work into the mid Ohio Valley. Whether they succeed, it's going to be a real close call. So I would expect some showers tomorrow morning during the morning commute. By 930, those showers should be done. Still some cloud cover and then we'll dry out as far as sunshine tomorrow afternoon. It looks like it'll be a crisp night for any football games that might be played out and about in the region. So that's how Futurecast looks all the way through Saturday morning. So our forecast says 44 for the overnight low, increasing clouds as we go. When we take a look at tomorrow's high, only 55 with early showers generally south of us. But it's going to be a close call. As you can see, high temperatures will be just in the mid 50s as we enter the weekend. The overnight lows will be at or slightly below freezing. And it doesn't really change much until we get to midweek when we come back up to the 60s.